Good morning, Casa. Uh, these are your instructions for cycle four. So on the Bitmoji Classroom, if you click on the cycle four folder, folder you'll see that it is available, uh, or the due dates, I should say, are from 11-4 until November 20th. Um, you have your instructions page. That's where you'll find this video. Um, the enrichment for this cycle is continuing with Duolingo. So wherever you've stopped with Duolingo or if you're just starting, um, begin German or continue with German in Duolingo. And when you get to a window that shows your progress and scores, take a screenshot of that and reply to this discussion for your Hornet badge, which will yield you three spaces on the Candyland board, five class euros, and one Hornet five. Okay, so that's your enrichment. That is optional, but with additional rewards. There's a questions questions parking lot. Should you have any questions, um, I like it if you post them there so that other students can see your questions in case they had the same one. Otherwise, um, feel free to send me a Schoology message or a, an email if you don't want the others to see your questions. Activity Plata Fear, activity board number four. So we are carrying on with numbers um, one to a hundred. So there's a pair deck. With this pair deck, I've added voice. So I want to make sure you know how to listen to each slide. All right, so if you go back to the beginning, um, when you see an audio included sign there, you'll click in the bottom right, the set of headphones, and that'll allow you to play. Good morning, Kinder. The voiceovers for each slide, which is very important. Okay, so audio included. Over here, you'll be able to listen. Audio included. Again, um, just make sure you're, you're aware that each slide may have audio and that in the bottom right, those headphones is what you're going to click to listen to it. So you're going to do the pair deck, learn about numbers 1 to 100. And then number two on the activity board is practice listening, speaking um, with numbers 1 to 10, 1 to 10, 11 to 20, 11 to 20 to start out. And then for this assignment, you're going to click the Flipgrid link when you're ready after you're done practicing the numbers. And there's a video of myself saying a math problem in German. And I will say it with either plus or minus. Okay, so plus or minus. And then you're going to record a response of yourself saying what the answer to my math problem is, and then also saying your own math problem. So for example, if I said the math problem fear plus nine, fear plus nine. All right, so in my head, I would know that's 4 plus 9, which is 13, or 13 in German. So I would record a response with me saying 13, and then my math problem might be 2 plus 9. 2 plus 9. Okay, so again, you're going to record your response answering what my uh answering the math problem or the answer to the math problem that I say and then recording your own math problem. And that is the flip grid for number two on the activity board. As soon as students start to record their own responses, you may choose to listen to their response and answer their math problem and then record your own after that. As soon as student responses start coming in, you can use one of theirs instead of mine. Number four, or I'm sorry, number three on the activity board is practice with numbers 20 to 100. And these little games <clears throat> that you're going to play, they're going to ask you to click on the Adobe Flash Player. So if you just click that and allow, that will allow you to play the game. So during each of these games, you'll find directions up here. Okay, so instructions are up here, and then start is right here.
And for this one, there's a glossary with the, the vocabulary. Okay, so all those little games um, for 1 to 10, 11 to 20, and 20 to 100, uh, that's what they'll look like. So that's what you're doing with this activity. And then please write a comment that you finished these to get credit for that. And then you're going to do <clears throat> numbers 20 to 100 assessment. So open that up, follow the instructions, and complete that assessment for the numbers 20 to 100. The next two activities are from Nico's Vague. And so you'll click on the link and then click on the Nico's Vague link. You'll watch the video, scroll down and click start and complete each slide. When you're finished all the slides, it'll give you a percentage score. And when after you get that percentage score, take a screenshot of it and then post it as a reply or a comment to this assignment. All right, so again, click on the Nico's Vague link, scroll down, click start, watch the video, scroll down, click start, complete every slide, it'll give you a percentage score, take a screenshot of that, and then post the screenshot as a comment. Number five or six is also Nico's Vague, and it'll be a little assessment about the Nico's Vague you just watched. And so it's not going to be on the slides that you watch or that you do and the video that you watch. It's going to be on in the grammar, vocabulary, and culture and society links. And to get there, you just click on the three little lines here, and then you'll see grammar, vocabulary, culture, and society, and go into each one of them in order to answer the questions on this assessment. After that, number seven and eight will be available to you, and we're going to go over some of the German verbs that Frau Adila has been doing with us in our Zoom German lessons, and then you're going to create a small comic strip using those verbs and saying what you're doing using those verbs. All right, if there's any questions, again, throw them in that questions parking lot. And or you can ask me in class or send me a message on Schoology or an email. Feel spaß. Tschüss.